For the Adoration Ministry, Enugu, prayer and seeking the face of God for its members, the nation, and those in authority is the thing they do daily, whether in their closets or at the congregational meetings. This, among others, they did at their 2014 annual harvest, Thanksgiving, and bazaar, where Nigeria's First Lady, Dempish's Jonathan, was special guest. The First Lady, who read from Genesis chapter 12, verses 2 to 3, was described by the spiritual director of the Adoration Ministry, Reverend Father Ejike Mbaka, as a mother whose passion for Nigerians is widely acknowledged. He said the Adoration Ministry has always prayed for President Goodluck Jonathan not only to win elections but to excel in leadership. We are not stopping because we want him to go back. Even if we don't come here, we keep praying for him. Because the first one we did, we were not here. We are not psychopathic. Because you and your husband have done well in spite of the distractions. They are distracting you so that you will not achieve much. You have done this without distraction. What of it there's no distraction? So go ahead. Go with the consolation of the Holy Spirit. The anointing of the Lord says, God will make your family great. The clergyman also spoke about the abducted Chibok girls urging Nigerians to unite and fight terrorism. Jonathan must bring back the Chibok girls. Is Jonathan holding them? Are they living in your house? So anybody positioning the concept of Jonathan will bring the back the Chibok girls. Then some people are holding the girls. They should release them. Not Jonathan. Jonathan is not a kidnapper. Then patient Jonathan thanked the Adoration Ministry for their committed prayers for Nigeria and the administration of President Jonathan and said Nigeria is being transformed. I am encouraged by this spiritual intervention by the clergy today to bring our people and country to the path of peace and unity at this time that we are facing security challenges in the country. Deputy Senate President Ike Ekwaremadu thanked First Lady Dempish and Jonathan for her visit to Enugu and also reaffirmed the total support of the state for President Goodluck Jonathan's re-election. Reverend Father Ejike Mbaka then offered special prayers for the First Lady and President Jonathan. The children were not left out as little Miss Chinna Sanguafo read a speech on behalf of the congregation eulogizing the First Lady's philanthropy and kind-heartedness. In Enugu, I am Makut Simon Macham, NTA News.